Hi everybody. So, look at this. It's just a big plant and we've got a bit of wind blowing and look at the leaves wafting backwards and forwards in the wind as it blows. This kind of behaviour where it basically wobbles in the wind is very common. The reason it's very common? Well, winds buff it. It's quite rare for winds to blow in a straight line all of the time. Mostly, winds do this to things. That idea of buffeting winds has fascinated me for a while because, as I say, my theory is that the winds buffet far more than they actually blow. If you're on the sea or the area is not occluded or you're in a valley, they're going to blow straight. But we live in an urban environment which is going to make the winds buffet. So I'm always looking at a way of collecting those buffeting winds by using nature as my example. And when I look at that tree, then I think about making something long that will wave. Of course, I'm not the first person to think of this. There have been loads of ideas around this idea of buffeting wind and vibration and something waving. We want to get something to wave. Of course, we need a structure to, for it to wave in. And I've turned to my 3D printer to create these five parts. Start with the arm, we need a bit of rod, 10mm by 5mm by 100mm, we need a centre section we're going to make hollow that we join together, and then we need a slide bit, 20mm by 5mm with cap ends, and we put that hollow into there so that we can uh, merge it later. We need a bit to uh, take the pivot, and we need bits to put the rubber bands on, and we need a bit to stick the rod in, so that rod obviously goes straight up, twist that round, align the whole lot, and merge them what we get is our arm. That's the bit where the rod will fit. And at the bottom there we've got the pivot and we've got our sliding joint for a sliding pin. Right, now for the cradle. The cradle again we begin at a bar, it needs a centre bit so that we know where to sit the pivot point, and then a couple of uprights with caps and again some way of attaching the rubber bands which are just pegs. Align everything up and then merge it and what we get is our cradle. And now for the pivot point itself, it's just three boxes, make it nice with a nice round cap, line them all up, put an 8mm hole in it so we can put the pivot pin in there, and then centre them all together and merge it and we get our actual pivot point. That's where the arm will go so it can wobble backwards and forwards. Now for the pins, they're just circles and we can add those together to make the actual pin. And then make a flat circle with the hole in it and that'll make a cap for the other side of the pin so that we can pivot this arm up and down and that gives us the bits that we actually need to construct our um, wind turbine mechanism. We've made them, of course, we need to put them together. This bit, which is a pivot point, goes in there. This bit, which is the bit that's going to be waving backwards and forwards, slots in there, and it's got a pin there that goes on, and then a cap that goes on that pin, and as I said, that glues in there. Then we put some rubber bands between here and here, so one set going from here, one set going from there, to act as a spring, and in the top I've left a 4mm hole to take a bit of rod that will go in that hole to act as a kind of armature that we can make go backwards and forwards. Okay, that's it put together with its rod, and it's got a couple of rubber bands there to act as springs, and on the end we've got a flat plate to catch the wind. So the idea is that flat plate catches the wind, makes it wobble, and it will oscillate backwards and forwards, pretty much like a leaf or a tree. That's the idea. Let's go and see if it'll actually wobble in the wind. Okay, so that worked, which I thought was pretty cool, but of course we want to translate that motion into generation. We need some kind of mechanism to do that. And of course, we've got this, our button generator. I've made a change to it. You might notice that the spring is actually missing. And if you look here, 
you'll see I've changed that arm and I've added this rod right there because that rod of course slots in that slot there and when we put those two together when that goes backwards and forwards it should rotate this and that's going to generate of course what we need to do now is try it So I would have said, for a proof of concept, that worked brilliantly. Now, of course, people are investigating this kind of oscillating wind turbine, and there's about three or four concepts out there. Of course, there are a ton of improvements you could do with this. I mean, you know, it didn't turn particularly quickly, so maybe some kind of gearing. This fit here is, well, terrible, so you might have noticed that it wobbled that way as well, as well as having slack before it hit the pin, and of course that represents quite a loss of energy. But that proof of concept, that if we stick a stalk up there that we can blow around in the wind, and use that motion here on this mechanism, then we can use that to drive a generator. That certainly, I think, uh, has been shown as a, a working idea. So this whole bundle, of course, can go in the bottom of some of those other designs that use uh, maybe a little slightly more complex motions than this. But loved doing it that's what the whole point of it was for me i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it inspires you of course these files are all available on thingiverse and i'll put this wind turbine adaption as a a separate thingiverse file the link to that will be in the description if anybody feels like working on this then keep me in touch with what you're doing and i'll probably do some other stuff on it anyway so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe